Welcome to the Met Gala. I'm Kim Kardashian here on the red carpet. Oh my God. With all the excitement around the Met, I did a poll on Instagram and asked which look you guys wanted to see and everyone said Kim. I knew you guys were gonna say Kim, but in case you think that I chose Kim, I know you guys all really wanted to see Kim, okay? And we are going to be creating this really wet rotisserie chicken makeup look created by Makeup by Mario right now. So go ahead and keep on watching. So I hit up Mario and I was like, I need to know what you used. I need some deets. So I have my reference pictures here. Ahem. Ahem. The outside shade on her crease, it's like that really nice warm sienna color and that is actually Albanian from his collaboration palette with Kim Kardashian, KKW here. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna be using the Albanian shade, but first, as you guys know, I always love to start with a bronzer to map out my shape because a bronzer looks more like a natural shadow. It's a little bit more forgiving than a regular shadow. And that way, when I lay down the bright colors or the more pigmented colors, it's kind of just like. I'm gonna be using Fenty Private Island here, my MAC 224. So I'm gonna first start applying some of the bronzer in this inner corner here. And then before I go into the center, I'm just gonna apply it also out here into the outer V. And that's where I really wanna focus most of my product and kind of bring it up into the brow here. Almost always a connection of my nose contour up into the brow is what I like to do with my bronzer because it like makes my nose look a little bit more narrow and it almost makes all the shadows look like they belong there naturally, as natural as makeup can be. When I asked people on Twitter and Instagram, everybody said Kim K, which you know what? Her makeup look was really, really cool. It was an art piece in itself. The fact that she looked wet everywhere, that I thought was really sick. So we're here now. The outfit that I'm wearing, I actually just went to Joann's fabric store, bought a piece of fabric and I just hot glue gunned it to a bodysuit and made it real quick. And we also got this backdrop there too, which was like, how perfect could this be? Cause everyone's pictures were on that rose wall. And I'm leaving the center like free of shadow. And then when I have barely anything on my brush, that's when I'm gonna kind of connect it, but the lightest touch. See, so I don't really want to connect it all the way, but I don't want it to look like incomplete. Applying the bronzer on the inner and outer corners like this already gave me such a vibe of the shape. I'm gonna go into the bone colored shade and I'm gonna take that right under this part of the brow bone and kind of like map out where the highlights is gonna come up on the eye. Kind of gonna go at a diagonal here. That's gonna give me the shape, the vibe, the feel, you understand? And I'm using a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH60 brush. This part is gonna be the brightest. Boom! So next we're gonna go into the shade Mario used for Kim's eyes, and this is Albanian. It's this really beautiful brick color. And I'm gonna take that using a Smith 247 brush. It's just a nice blending brush, smaller than the 224 from MAC. And I'm gonna start applying it just in the lid space of the inner and outer corner first. And then I always have a clean brush. This is the um, Jaclyn Hill Morphe JH34. And I like to use that to go over the edges of what we just laid down. It's always a clean brush. It's just gonna keep everything looking nice and neat and not muddy. And again, just building that color. Before we add the glitter up the center of the eye, I'm gonna first line the lash line with some black pencil liner. This is the Urban Decay Perversion Liner. All right, so I'm just gonna start applying this with the lash line and wiggling it into the lashes. And then I'm gonna take a small 228 brush by MAC and just start smoking that into the lash line. So now we have that smoked out lash line that gives the nod to that Kim Kardashian classic smoky eye that she always used to do. For the sparkle down the center, Mario told me that he used several different sizes of glitter and shimmers to give a lot of dimension to the look. So I'm gonna start with the finest sheen of my glitter pile that I have here. And this is the Kiko 05. It's like a cream pot, but it goes on really sparkly. I always use a synthetic brush to add any shimmer or glitter because I feel like it picks up product better. And I'm gonna be using a Mehron 314F brush. Dust it off in the back of my hand and then start pressing it onto the centers here. And I don't want it to be too chunky right there. I'm kind of just like laying it down and then I'm gonna soften it. Okay, pues. Ahora I'm gonna take MAC Reflect Glitter and this is in, this is a different type of glitter. So mixing the glitters is gonna make it look more poppin'. 
And I'm taking it on a Sigma detailed lip brush just because it's tiny. And I'm gonna apply it almost like in chunks. And if you need to spray the brush with a little Fix Plus to give it something to stick to, I'm applying it almost like in highlights, like just chunks instead of blending it out. I just want it to be a little bit more spotty. And then lastly, I'm actually gonna be using Space Paste. And this is from Lemonhead in the shade Groupie. Hey. This one I'm a little concerned because it looks so dark in the pot, but I think once it's just like lightly dabbed, it'll look just silver. So I'm just gonna grab whatever is on the lid here with my finger, and then we are going to put it just press. I'm starting a little because I'd rather have a little bit and then be like, no, than just glop on a bunch. Hard to see on camera, but I think it looks good. And these, when they catch the light, they're just chunkier, so it's gonna look even more glistening and wet. Moist. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara. You guys already know my MAC Extended Play. Just a light coat on the lashes here. I love that Kim's lashes in this photo are actually pretty spiky, and they give me iconic House of Lashes vibes. I'm just gonna pop them on real quick. Hopefully, it's a good lash day, I don't know. Hold your breath. Bitch. Lift this outer V. Mm. For foundation, since her skin is looking so dewy, so moist, so wet. So I'm gonna be mixing the Skin Love with Linda Hallberg Infinity Glass. This is like a glossy, glowy primer. You could use it for your lips, your eyes, or you could mix it with your foundation. I'm gonna mix. I don't know how that's gonna go, but we're gonna do it anyway. It's looking really nice, actually. Healthy, glowy, I gotta tan up my neck, I'm pale. So what were some of your guys' favorite Met looks? And I'm talking like, not just makeup, but like fashion. I feel like, personally, I really loved people who brought like fashion and not pretty. You know what I mean? Like, celebrities get to be pretty every day. With everything that you do, you get to just like look pretty, dress up, have full beautiful glam. So with this kind of event, it's like I get you still wanna look confident, but just like bring the fashion, bring the looks. You know, I really like that Gigi Hadid went for it. Like, we all know she's stunning and she just went full fashion and so did uh, Cardi B, which I thought was cool. Lady Gaga, I mean, obviously her ass is like, she was out there strutting for like a good 30 minutes. When you're on the carpet, it feels even longer. So I can only imagine, she probably felt like she was out there for an hour. Who else did I love? I mean, honestly, Kendall looked bomb, but you know, pretty, but still bomb. Oh, funny, I didn't realize, but Lady Gaga was wearing all of her engagement rings from all her. <laughs> Her exes. Her exes, which I thought was so funny. Next, I'm bringing out the highlights in my face using my RCMA Color Wheel C. And I'm just taking the two lightest shades in this wheel and I'm going to apply them to the sides of the nose. This is a Laura Mercier brush, all over eye. So I'm taking it on the sides of my nose here, really give that contour. And then I'm going to drag it out. I'm just blending it all in with a beauty blender. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and hit it with some concealer. And I'm just gonna be using NARS Creamy Concealer in Ginger. And then uh, blending the rest in with the Beauty Blender. So I'm just gonna set really close to my under eye real quick. And I'm gonna be using Laura Mercier Translucent Powder mixed with my Ben Nye Banana Powder. You don't wanna put the powder everywhere. Like I'm literally just trying to keep it to right under my eyes and just the very sides of my nose because you want the overall skin to look pretty glossy and wet. So just be careful. I mean, I don't know if you guys are recreating this at home, honestly. Are we? Are you? Probably not. So what else? If you want that wet skin look, just you know what to do. If you're here Same judging what I'm doing well. in your sweatpants, that's okay too. I was doing that in the Met. I was judging. All right, let's add a little warmth, okay? RCMA, I don't know what this is. This is a Shinto. Uh, don't tell me, don't, I don't think you know more than me, okay. Give a little bronze halo here. I'm going to warm up the skin. Basically, we're hugging that concealer that we put down. Remember how we put a half circle? Now you wanna hug that half circle. I usually do my under eye setting after this step, but honestly, I just needed to switch it up today. I'm gonna contour the sides of my nose using my MAC Studio Fix NC45. So following that brow bone, sides of the nose, you're just gonna bring it down and then really blend this in a little bit. Ah, shit. The next I'm gonna do the lower lash line and actually her lower lash line is really smoky and a lot darker than what she has like shadow wise. 
you know, it's very smoky. So I think I'm gonna start with a really dark brown first. I'm gonna be using Morphe Trendsetter first and see how that looks darkness wise. And if I need to darken it up, then I will go darker. With the pencil brush, this is just my Sigma Detailed Lip. I'm gonna just go ahead and run those edges. Ooh, she's smoky. All right, so next I'm gonna take a little bit more of the Albanian shade on my pencil brush that I've been using to blend out this lower lash line. And I'm just gonna dip into that and lightly add it to the edges of this smoke out here, just to tie in the colors in the top. Not too much, I don't want it to be too red because in the photos they all look a lot more brown and dark and more like a dark brown, if anything, black in the lower lash line then it is like very ready to me personally. I don't know, that's just what I see. Yeah, what's cool is that yes, a lot of people are gonna do similar looks, but the cool thing is everyone has different interpretations of the looks and they do it differently and that's what makes it cool, you know? You really don't have any idea of the things that I did today, okay? I- You know my life? You don't know my life! No, I literally like, I said, you know what? I'm gonna go see if I can find a backdrop that looks like the rose wall that everybody is posting pictures on. And you know what? I set my mind to it and I said, I'm gonna find a backdrop that matches. And I did. And then I was like, I'm gonna make myself have dark hair today. I took some scissors to a wig. I sprayed my front hair dark. I don't even wanna know what, I, what I'm gonna look like when I take it all off. It's gonna look crazy. My whole outfit here, it's a custom design. If anybody wants uh, to hire me, custom designer now. Titties out, hella out, I know, I know. It was Project Runway at my house today. We had the scissors, the glue gun. Make it work. Ooh, you guys, I am feeling this makeup look. Honey, mm, mm. We're not done. Now we're gonna go in with the one, the only, Dose of Colors Dazzy X Kitty Highlight Fuego. Boom, you know why? Because this gives you wet skin. Her highlight is very like right here. Right here, there's like this roundness here on the pictures. Like pop it right over here. Of course, highlights in all the usual areas and even more exaggerated than ever because you're supposed to look wet. You see that? Oof, oh, taking a small dose of colors um, pencil brush. Center of the nose. Her blush looks really pink and almost placed where her contour is. So I'm gonna use this baddie on the block by Kylie Cosmetics. It's just such a great pink. I know I use it a lot, but it's, it's just, it's nice. All right, let's do the gloss and then the lip. Oh my God, and I think we're done. Well, I'm gonna put some body glow on by Patrick Ta, obviously, cause she looks like a wet damn Pekingese and I wanna look like wet Pekingese. All right, I don't know what the best way to apply this is. I'm just gonna go with my finger. I'm gonna clean my hands off first. They look in hella grubby. Makeup all over them. And you know, you just wipe it on your sweatpants, you know? All right, I'm taking that gloss. Ooh, I'm nervous. Okay, okay. Doing okay, it's doing good on top of the powders. It's just kind of blending into it really nice. Okay, Linda Hallberg. I have a meeting right now and I have to go with this makeup because I don't have time to take it off. Mm. I'm gonna be like covered in Vaseline, like, hi. I'm thinking we're gonna use Cafe because her lip has like this like really nice soft nude. It's not like too dramatic. So Cafe is a really good color. This actually looks like the perfect color. Honestly, just for shits, because I still feel like I need just a little bit more definition. I'm gonna use BFF3 by Shayla and ColourPop. Is this the three? Yeah. Just at the top. I'm gonna use KKW Nude 4 on the outer part and just dab it. Naturally Transformed might be nice by MAC. Oh yeah, Naturally Transformed is nice because it gives that like really cool tone. It brings that cool tone element to the look. I'm putting a little creme de nude in the center by MAC because I want to. For a little bit of that glow because you know Kim looked like a honey ham. Thanksgiving, her boobies were like, 
you know, I'm not gonna lie, okay, like, I have some socks in here pushing. Yeah, you didn't know that, huh, Keish? No. Not that I have, like, you know, but this, like, pushes them up more, so let me just, like, you know, I just needed that honey ham look. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and, mm, 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 mm. Baste the turkey. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Patrick Ta. Give it to me. All right, I got my, you know, my wig is accurate as I possibly could, you know, with my time constraints that I have right now. You know, try to give myself a wet look with a little bit of mousse here. I just didn't have missed that like Hollywood wave right here, but honestly, like. She's on a time crunch, people don't come for her. I'm on a, I'm on a time crunch, guys. So this is the finished Kim K Met Gala Makeup Look 2019. And I'm really proud of the way this turned out. I mean, I'm feeling really Kim K like, mm-hmm. Zoom, please. You know, like, just, okay, you went a little. Am I sultry like really? Connie, hold my bag. That's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this Met look. This is the, uh, I have sweatpants underneath, but I made this, okay? Okay. I didn't even cut the back of my hair, bitch. What? <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I love you, and I'll see you in my next video. Adios. <laughs> Took a vote, and I have a poll. Y'all wanted this look, okay? So if anybody has anything to say, shut up. <laughs> 45 on. I think we all were, right? Where the hell is my RCMA? Oh, there it is. Kim K, like, we got it. A bit of dose. What? Oh. Ay. Salut! Let's go! Let's go!